Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here coming at you with a four box break from a fresh case of the brand new 2022 Panini Phoenix football. Pick your team number five. Big thanks to this group for getting in on it on the first of the month. Chad, Chris, Chad, Chad Hansen, Chris Hansen, Chris Hansen uh, with the quintuple last spot mode. I think about the last five teams. There's one, two, three, four, five. Thanks, Chris. Chad Hansen might be a wide receiver for the Jets. Where's my knife there? All right, there's the fresh case of Phoenix. All right. One, two, Three and four. And the rest of those we'll save for next time. This case is too big. They should they need to trim this down to an eight box case. Alright. Where did my knife go? Oh, there it is. No, oh, sorry, Rex. You had your headphones on. It sounded like a bear rabbiting through. Yeah, this was like uh, this is like cocaine bear just came through. roll. There's Mahomes to 175 for Gabe and the Chiefs. His Chiefs, his world champion Chiefs. It's George Pickens to 75 for the Steelers. Sam. Javante Williams to 150. And 10 out of 10, Josh Jacobs autograph. He's going to get paid. Adam Kupperman with my Raiders. We got hot routes, Devontae Adams to 199. Could definitely run some hot, hot routes. And there's Christian McCaffrey. Two color relic, eight out of 99. Yeah, Josh Jacobs did, did lead the league in rushing last year. Can you keep it up though? You keep it going. That, that's always the thing with the running backs. You, I mean, unless you're like Derrick Henry, who did have a little bit of an injury spell a year or two ago, two years ago. I think he was fine last season, but there's Aaron Rodgers to 175. Green Bay. Chris. Derrick Stanley Jr. to 199 for the Texans. Chris Parent. Zach Wilson for the Jets to 150. That'll be for Adam. And reach for the sky. He scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Sky Moore. There's a snake in my boot. Three color, dual relic and auto. 50 out of 125. That is going to go to G-Lo, Gabe and his Chiefs. Is Gabe awake? Wake up, Gabe. Aiden Hutchinson, 
going to uh, the Lions. And a 4 out of 10, Trevor Lawrence. Tristan with the Jaguars and the T-Law. Husky Dolphin, hello. Yeah, how long does Josh Jacobs maintain that level? I don't know. I, I suppose the Raiders are going to try to franchise tag him, but I don't know if Josh Jacobs is going to like that. And that, that creates a whole other can of worms. But if not, they may have to they may have to sign him for like a five-year deal or something like that. You know, and then with the running backs, it's you run the risk of having only two of those scenes really be productive. I mean, you saw Ezekiel Elliott get paid, and then his production dropped off the seat significantly. Remember the other Cowboys running back before that, DeMarco Murray, got paid by someone else, not the Cowboys. But he got paid by, is it the Eagles or the Titans or something like that? They paid a bunch of money for him, and, and then his production fell off pretty quickly. There's Tyler Tyler Beatty, 249. That will be for Aaron Billingsley and the Ravens. The Jacob Myers will be the 75 for the Patriots. There's Derek Carter, 125 for Adam and the Raiders. And we got Easy E. That's how he spells it. Eric Ozuka Ozuka Nama, jersey and autograph. For the fish. That's going to go to Alifonso and the dolphins. I know they're not fish. They're mammals. But it's fun to say. To 299. <laughs> Dennis saying three more games at running back for Josh Shagan. That's it. Then, then he's done those. There's uh, Kyle Phillips for the, uh, for the Titans. There's Jalen Waddle, the 175. I mean, the sad thing is, it's kind of kind of true. You look at the average careers of, of running backs, and and they're not very long. There's just not a lot of guys like that are genetically built like, you know, Derrick Henry or Adrian Peterson, guys like that. It's Jalen Waddle, 150. So it's always a crapshoot when you're when you're extending a running back past their rookie deal and like I just don't Terry Malone going to Adam and then Jalen Waddle for the Dolphins Alfonso I so it's hard to hard to really but then you can't like not you know <laughs> how do you not do it there's Ryan Cook to 250 because maybe you think you found that lightning in a bottle or that that unicorn that can last a second contract, so it gets tricky. Damian Pierce, autograph for Chris Parent and the Texans. It's to 50. So is Josh Jacobs that guy? I don't know. He's known to play through injury. He seems like a tough dude. He doesn't seem to take hard hits. He gets a lot of yards after contact. Zach Wilson to 175. He doesn't get a lot of hard contact. George Pickens, relic for the Steelers. That'll be for Sam. Four out of 75 on that one, Sam. So then, then you start thinking about that. Do you pay him? Can you not pay him? Can the, can the Raiders afford to not pay him? You know what I mean? They need playmakers on that team. So they might be forced to pay him. I guess I guess people really haven't figured out the running back formula. I feel like they just kind of 
you just kind of use a running back for their rookie contract and they just pick up another running back. But is there is there is there a, like a two running back system? You know where where you can keep two running backs fresh? Yeah, they could have picked up his option, but I mean, do you blame him though? Did you see this coming? I didn't. And I'm a fan of Josh Jacobs. You know, I, do, I, I really like that kid, but, you know, it just seemed like he was just going the way of a lot of, a lot of running backs last year. Although I would have just done it, right? Why not just pick up that 50-year that 50-year option? It's not like you're signing into a 6-year deal or anything like that. All right. You got Nick Chubb it's a nice relic there, 34 out of 75. Fire Fabrics. This fabric's on fire. Go to Nate. Cleveland, this is for you. Darren Waller to 10. Here's another guy that that needs to that needs to stay healthy. All right, Alfred Morris. Yeah, I mean we can Dennis, we could fill an hour of time talking about Talking about um, you know running backs that were great the first season or two and then really just tailed off. It's Dalvin Cook to seventy five. And you know I'm sure fantasy football players especially will will definitely know. <laughs> There's Jameson Williams. Detroit, that's David Duffy with Detroit. Good alliteration there. And Kyle Hamilton to 175. Aaron with the Purple Birds. Devontae Adams is numbered. So our, our sorting and shipping team will sort, will sleeve and topple all these. We're getting sort of, sort of backed up a little bit on the schedule, so I just want to breeze through this as quickly as possible. Out of 75, Derek Carr. Where does Derek Carr end up? Jamar Chase to 99. Where does Aaron Rodgers go? The quarterback carousel. Daniel Jones. Does he get paid? He wants a lot of money. That Daniel Jones to 125. Giants. That's for David H. And we got Charlie Collar. Aaron Billingsley of the Ravens. Did you really just get benched with Oh, I guess that's that's what you mean by just NFL teams just giving up on running backs? Final box. Why do you think that is? They're just there. They just see like a new shiny player. Maybe, ah, I didn't catch a lot. So maybe that just kind of, right. And now it's more fashionable to have pass catching running back. I saw someone make that, I forget where I read this. Maybe this was The Athletic or maybe it was local sports talk radio or something like that. Where, where, or some random Raiders blog where they were like, yeah, sign Josh Jacobs, you know, to a five, six year deal or something like that. And then develop his passing game more often, turn him into more of a slot receiver or something like that, you know. You know, take some hits, take some inside the tackles hits away from him, you know. 
turn him more of turn him, I guess more turn him into more of a Eckler type or something. Lost an Eckler type. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, and then you can get you can work in that Georgia running back, Zamir White, have him do you know, he's a lot younger. Have him do some of the more gritty work and then more of the dirty work in between the tackles and then have or in, even in between the guards and draft another running back in later rounds. There is David Bell. That's a catch. Jersey and autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Nate with the Browns. Davis Mills to 199. Yeah, and then you see then you see fullback Mike Allstott. Yeah, but then 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 you realize then you start to think, right, those guys are more more exceptions than rules. There's Mark Andrews hot routes. Matthew Stafford, what, that's a fun looking, this is like confetti in the background? I don't know how short printed that is, but that, that'll go to the Rams, Adam. We got a green T Higgins to 25. Is the Raiders fan, if they don't make the playoffs, Derek Hart takes the team, goes to the playoffs, you think McDaniels gets axed? No, I don't think so. Uh, first off, First off, uh, they're still paying John Gruden. So I, and it's not like Mark Davis, the Raiders owner, is the, he's not the wealthiest owner. I mean, he's wealthy. He's not, but he's not the wealthiest owner in the league. And he's a, it's been known to be cheap. You know, so I don't think he wants to pay three head coaches at the same time, right? He's still, still paying off John Gruden. He would have to pay off uh, Josh McDaniels and his contract. Ooh, nice Joe Montana autograph. Niners. Chris Hansen, one of his last spot mojo teams. Congrats. That's nice. So, I mean, I think just economic, just from an economic perspective, I don't think Josh McDaniels can get fired. He might have a much longer leash than people people think. Out of 25, Marquise Brown, Cardinals edition going to Chad O. But imagine the backlash from the fans. I mean, I, th I think they'll be like, the, Mark Davis and the team will probably go trust the process mode. I think it's a four-year deal, though. Right, so last year was year one. This year will be year two, right? Next year is year three. By the end of year three, if it doesn't work out, then uh, you know I think then I think the ripcord gets pulled, with maybe just a year or so left on. Both of those guys would probably be gone. David Ziegler and McDaniel's they came as a package. Seventy-five Desmond Ritter ATL Joe Christian. So that's what that's what I think. I think year two no. Year three. Probably. There's Rogers to 75. There's Arnold to 175. And that T-Law was to 150. And there you go, gang. That was uh, Phoenix Football. Four box, pick your team number five from a fresh case. Next four box break. It's already in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.